Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Recently I was in Michaels and they had all of these gorgeous springtime wreaths and I fell in love with them, but they were $80, which is way out of my budget. So I decided to recreate one for myself at a more affordable price point and I thought I'd film it and show you how I did it. I used a grapevine wreath, three stems of flowers, and then also some scissors and a hot glue gun. All the supplies I used were from Hobby Lobby. I used a 40% off coupon for the grapevine wreath and I got the flowers when they were on sale at half off they came to two dollars a piece each flower stem came with one large bloom and then a smaller bud as well so I popped the large bloom off and um, just sort of played around with it decided what I thought looked best and then added some hot glue to the back side of the flower placed it down and I let it sit there for about 30 seconds and then I would go in and sort of lift petals and apply a little bit more hot glue this wreath is going to be hung outside, so I wanted to make sure that it was nice and secure and I wasn't going to come home and see flowers, you know, blowing down the street or something like that because the wind knocked them off. Um, once I had my large blooms in place, I took advantage of all of the leaves that came on these stems and I just either plucked them off or cut them depending on what, um, how they were attached and, you know, and then sort of put a little bit of hot glue at the end and lifted flowers and poked them in. This part was a lot of just me eyeballing it and deciding what I thought looked best. And then I also decided to use the smaller blooms. They have gorgeous yellow inside the stamen of the flowers and it added just a little extra pop of color. And I really like how it turned out. And that's it. This wreath took about 10 minutes to make, about $8 in supplies, and it's gorgeous. It looks so pretty and bright and cheery on the front door. It's perfect for spring. And I do hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And um, don't forget to follow me on my social media. If you make this wreath, I would love you to share it with me on Instagram. And if you're new here, I'd love to have you stick around if you'll hit the subscribe button down below. That's it. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.